I am from Puerto Rico. I was born and raised in Istanbul. I'm born. I was born in Bangladesh. I was born in Belarus in 2005 in the city of Gomo. I was born in Somali, Mogadishu, Somali. I was born in Tanzania. We didn't have a lot of money, but it was a good life we was living. It was the, the best part of my life when I grew up in Yemen. It was me, my mom, my dad, and my brother, and the dog. So I was born in uh, Greece, Castoria. My parents had moved there because there was a war in Albania in the 1997. In September 16, it was Hurricane Maria passed to Puerto Rico. I was so scared because it was my first hurricane. We have a hard time in Burundi because we did not have enough food to eat. We don't have many things like water. There come the day which we had to stop from school because of the money. In 2015, my mom won the green card lottery. They, they tell us that you have to go in the USA. I was so happy that day. I felt like, oh my God, this is not true. Me and Marina called my mom and say, come to Rochester, New York. I can help you. I have 10 years with now seeing my, my dad. That's why I was excited. I didn't know what to say. I was really nervous and excited, but nervous and sad. It was like a little bit sad for me because I had to leave all the things that I used to and get set in a new place. Here I have my new friend, new teacher, and new school. Since I came in Buffalo, I was good. School is good. I want to be a doctor. I don't know what type of doctor, but I want to be a doctor and like have a family of my own. Have a work, a house, a family. In the future, I will go to college and study physician therapy. I don't want to stay in America for a lot, like for the rest of my life. I want to go back and forth to Yemen and to America. I was thinking I was going to college. I was doing something and to for that my father is proud of me. I was thinking I was going to be an uh, art teacher. I was like the art, so. I'm also really interested in like child rights and especially refugee children because all that I've gone through kind of opened my eyes to the struggles that refugees or immigrants face when coming here. So for especially children, I want to help them in any way I can and show them that they're not alone in this process.